somebody else might like a little stew? That burn it, I'm still hungry. Oh, you're still hungry? Yeah. Here. Vinegar, what am I supposed to do with that? Take it over that meadow and pour it all around and you graze for about an hour. Oh, you're funny. You funny, little brother. Funny, funny. No, you don't stop teasing him about food one of these days. He's gonna eat you alive. Well, if he does, I guarantee he'll last for seconds. <laughs> hey, Billy, how about some more stew? No, no, thanks, Joe. What do you think's the matter with Billy here? Yeah, I don't know. Hey, you don't think he's he's thinking about backing out on the wedding, do you? All right, now hold on, you two. Nervous I am, but backing out I ain't. <laughs> Just anxious, that's all. Yeah, well, I don't blame you, Billy. Sally's quite a girl. <laughs> How you doing, Pop? Oh, good, good. Get all that business settled? Yep, everything paid up in full. They'll pick up the herd this afternoon. Good. Yeah, coffee. It smells good. Yeah, let me get you a cup. I'll tell you, I'll be glad to get home. That's what, uh, that's what Billy here was just saying. Well, wonder why. Why are you blushing, Billy? Hey, you know what I was thinking? Now we got the herd sold, maybe we could move that wedding day up a little bit. We could go back home to the high country, save ourselves five or six days. What do you think of that? Sounds great to me. Well, if you could rustle up your brother, we could get moving. Yeah, where is Hoss, anyway? I saw him in the meadow as I rode by. Did he take that bottle of vinegar with him? Mm-hmm. <laughs> well, he, he, he wouldn't. Hoss? <laughs> <laughs> We're going. You're going to be married a week early. Thank you, Mr. Cartwright. I sure do appreciate it. your guns. What's this about? Throw down your guns.
With the offside hand. Now the rifles. Hey, look, mister, if you're looking for money, it just isn't any. We've got a couple of dollars between us, and the rest is in a bank draft. <laughs> money? You got me all wrong, mister. This ain't a hold up. Tell him what is it? You men are trespassing. Trespassing? You deaf? Trespassing. This is private property. Yeah, sorry for trespassing. We just didn't see any signs posted. I don't guess you did. There ain't any. But you are trespassing, and now you're coming with me. Well, this, I don't, this just doesn't make any sense. We didn't see any signs posted, so how could we be charged with trespassing? Well, we'll let the judge decide that. I'm done talking. Let's go. Now, look, mister, we didn't mean any harm. I got a date to get married as soon as I get home. I ain't about to hang around here because some guy's got a burr under his saddle. Looks like the wedding's off. There you. Never seen a prison camp before? Get moving. you told the lookout that five men rode in. Where's the fifth man? He tried to get away. That's a lie. This man murdered him in cold blood. Murder? That's a powerful statement to make against one of my deputies. You the sheriff here? Sure I am. Well, the sheriff arrest this man. There's seven witnesses saw him shoot down that boy for no reason at all. Seven witnesses? Did you men... See Hatch shoot that boy back there? Yes, sir, I, I sure did. Why'd he shoot him? He was trying to escape. That's a lie. The boy wasn't doing anything. He didn't even have a gun. Who am I supposed to believe? My four deputies or you four strangers? Trespassers to boot. Look, I'm Ben Cartwright from Virginia City. The sheriff there, Roy Coffey, will vouch for me. I swear to you, I'm telling you the truth. Virginia City, that's a long way off. Well, you could send him a message. He'd be right here. That'd take too long. What do you mean it'll take too long? I mean, he won't be here in time for your trial. What trial? Trespassing. Huh? You keep talking about trespassing. You got a murderer standing right next to you. Yeah, that's for the judge to decide. I find my deputy Hatch not guilty. Oh, I forgot to mention, I'm the judge here, too. I'm the sheriff, the judge, and the jury. I find the trespassers guilty. Six months at hard labor. Put them in chains. Hold it, mister. I'm killing them all. You men are going to have to learn some discipline. Finished, Mr. Hatch. Fine. Clear guys will hurt you for a while, but you'll get used to them. Just the skin will burn off, and then the uh, flesh will start to go numb. That's when the fish will okay. I'll be around to see you get yours. So watch your mouth, boy.
gonna let you go this time, boy. But you remember that sound. You remember it good, because that's the sound of death. Kind of like a dream, ain't it? Maybe I should say more like a nightmare. One minute you're riding along, quiet as you please, and the next. Every man here is in chains for the same thing, trespassing. Why? Slave labor to work the judge's mind. You can't get men to work any cheaper than that, can you? How does he get away with it? A man leaves here, you got to go to the law. Nobody leaves here unless you go the way your friend did. I know. I've been here. Three years. None of the others have lived that long. Three years ago, my wife and I rode on to this land looking for a place to settle. I guess that's why I stay alive. To be near Sarah. Where is she? The judge wanted her to live up at the house with him. But she wouldn't leave until he had his men drag her away. They took her up to the house and locked her in. I buried Sarah up on the hill there. I'm sorry. It's the way Sarah wanted it. My wife hung herself. Pick up your plate. It ain't fancy, but it's filling. See, we worry about our men. We want to keep them as healthy as long as we can. They all eat by the second day. And by the second month, you'll be begging just like the rest of them.
a thing, do they? Hey, Luke. Yeah, Judge. Between these chains, these dogs and these rifles will take a miracle to get us out of here. No sign, huh? No, sir, not yet. We had that vein and we lost it. We found some gold since then. Yeah. Two little pockets. That vein's here someplace and we're gonna find it. I got the men working as hard as they can. You make sure you keep them working and if they're level as old mountain. I want that gold. Yes, sir. Back to work. If you just let me move over the shade for a bit. I said get back to work. Pick that man up and put a shovel in his hand. I get my hands on just one of them once. Get yourself killed, that wouldn't help. You, get back to work. when you men like the work today. Works fine. I'm not too thrilled about the wages. Well, what can you expect when you've broken the law? What are you staring at, Farley? You, Judge. I told you I don't like it. I know. But I don't know why. Do you know why, Judge? Just don't like it, that's all. Can't be because of Sarah after all these years. Oh, I... I told my new friends here. I told them how Sarah killed herself. He'd like me to die like the others. He'd like me to try to get away so the dogs could do it for him, but I won't. I'm going to stay alive, and I'm going to stay close to Sarah. And him. Come and get it! Sleeping? I'm watching them. Don't worry. Don't worry. What'd you do with the card right saddlebags? Put them in the judge's cabin, same as I always do. Uh-huh. And what are you so touchy about? I'm just tired of you checking up on me old time is all. Well, that's what I'm here for, right? Right? <sighs> right. Sure.
You men pay attention, Judge. Got a few words for you. Men, I know that uh, most of you are trying to do your best here. As long as you do your work, I'm trying to be fair. Now, you all know the penalty for trying to escape. I don't have to go into that with you. Well, it's come to my attention that while you men are doing a good job, one of my men hasn't. He's gone as far as placing temptation in front of one of my prisoners. Ain't that right, Sense? Ain't that right? Please, Judge. Take off his shirt. Please, Judge. In order to be fair, I feel that my men should receive the same punishment as you would. Run, Sense. Run. Had something to do with the guard this morning. Yeah. Wonder how the judge found out about it. Don't know. The guard was going to come back to the posse. Yeah, it was. We're right back where we started. Come on, it don't take four of you to lower that car. You, you, and you, get back to work. 
Yeah. Come on, speed it up. Buddy, you want this ore cart to go faster? That's right. I think I'm going to accommodate you. Paul? Yo! Candy, look up! Cost you your food ration tonight. I figure I can live without it. Come on, house, I'll help you. I don't need no help. I'll help you anyway. Huh? Look under the wheels. I hear you were disobedient to mine today. Is that true? Would he lie to you? No. What are you asking me for? You look at me when I talk to you. You're gonna lose your food tonight. But I'm afraid you're gonna have to be more severely punished. You put them dogs on me and I'll kill them. Dogs won't be necessary. The man you disobeyed will discipline you. It'll be a lesson for the rest of them. Kneel down. The rest of you men watch. Remember what you see. You mean it's just me and him? That's all. Nobody will interfere. Feed them. Come and get it. All right, man, time to eat. I said time to eat. chance at all. If I can make it to Glacier Lake, I can lose the dogs. Even if it works, you'll be on your own. We won't be able to help you. Yeah, well, timing is the important thing. Absolutely essential. Not a second can be lost. And Candy and Farley are going to have to make it look real good. We will. I'll spread the word to the other prisoners. They'll help. 
Good. Closing time. Okay, here it goes. You ready? Come on, Wally. Look at how long you've been here. I'm tired of doing your work for you. And I heard enough talk out of you. the other one. What? The big one's brother. Where is he? I don't know. I thought sure they were all here. Get the judge. Tell him to bring the dogs. You take these men back to camp. They try to give you trouble, you shoot them. That kid couldn't have gotten too far in those chains. I'll bring him back. All right, move him along.
How long do you reckon it's been? I don't know. How far is it to the water? About three miles. If he can make it to that water, they'll never find him. Get up. If you let me go now, I'll make sure when the judge catches up to you, it goes easy on you. I said, get up. we go. You shoot me and the dogs are gonna get you anyway. Oh, I ain't gonna shoot you, Hatch. Take off my shirt. What? Take off my shirt. Come on, come on, hurry up. I'm gonna hand it over. Now run. Come on, run! Saved us a lot of trouble, didn't he, Judge? Satan, go! Get the dogs, I'll be back at the camp. Oh, uh, Paul, you know as well as I do, there ain't no way to catch little Joe on foot. Adam and I tried long enough. You know that. Isn't it? My prisoners don't escape. The dogs make sure they don't. You do well to remember that. One of our men has lost a son. That's a difficult thing to lose a loved one. Especially when he knows that he's responsible for his son's death. I hope this is the last lesson that will be necessary. You cannot escape. I could punish you all. I should, but I won't. I'll give you another chance. I know you won't disappoint me. Where are the dogs? Why didn't you bring the dogs? I was scared. The dogs have gone crazy. They didn't get card right. They got Hatch. What do we do now, Judge? Only one thing we can do. You want Hatch to share? All that gold up in the shack waiting to be spent. Kill them all. Judges, judges, kill them all. He'll hang if you don't. Now kill him! Just can't. Just can't. 
kill these fellas in cold blood? You stay out of this, Cartwright. You've been here a few days. I've been here two years. Now look, I, I don't pretend to know how you feel or, or, or how you suffered. But you just... This is wrong. Right or wrong, it don't matter anymore. What you're saying is that you're just like them, is that it? They're animals, and so are you. Fellas, there's been enough killing here. Enough of death. Let the Lord take care of this. All right, let's tie him up. Well, that leaves the judge. We'll go after him right now. Hey, where's Farley? 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 Farley! Gold there, Judge. Well, a lot of men died getting you all that gold, Judge. How'd you get up here? I'm afraid the men disobeyed you again, Judge. They didn't die like they were supposed to. Now, you won't punish us, will you, Judge? Listen, Farley, you're right. There's a lot of gold up here. The other men will be here any minute now. I'm sure they're going to want to thank you for looking after them. A man could buy anything he wanted. Anything with all that gold. Buy me back Sarah's life. Buy back my wife for me. Harley! Harley, don't! Let the Lord take care of him! All set to go, Paul. Divided the gold among the prisoners. Well, it won't make up for what they've gone through, but at least it'll give them a new start. I better be gone. I love you. <laughs> 